Okay, so hey guys, it's Zana here, and uh, I just recently did a poll for you guys, and I wanted to see what your guys' thoughts were for this weekend's craft, because last weekend I did a rosary, and I redecorated my grimoire, and you can see that on my uh, blog, so if you want to like, check that out, you can go ahead and can. So, like, as you guys can see, I kind of like to be crafty with some of my materials in my practice. And for this weekend, I wanted to ask you guys what out of the four ideas I should do for this weekend. And letting those who voted for the, all the other options that didn't win, I will do those and add those to my favorites on my blog. But the winning option was a DIY kind of... Uh, pocket altar witch tool kind of carrier with uh, using tins and um, I kind of wanted to do this mainly because as you could tell I have a bunch <laughs> of tins and little like mini lunch pails so I kind of wanted to do three two or three different types or like different like ideas for each tin kind of to give you guys an idea like maybe if you want to create a pocket altar or like witch tool carrier for yourselves so um some of the ideas i'm thinking about i probably won't do all of these just kind of throwing these out there um one of them i want to do well i'm obviously not going to do this one because this one's as you can tell already like witchy and you know whatnot it's probably upside down because the camera's backwards but um yeah so there's that and then so I'm not going to do that one, but I just wanted to show you like some of the tins I had. And it's a nice tin. I actually got this at a Halloween store. You guys can probably find these at like Spirit Halloween. So, but um, see, like so many, uh, so many people have used Altoid tins for theirs. I'm probably going to use this one because it's bigger, but I might come up with an idea for a smaller one, especially if some people want to carry smaller ones. But the bigger ones I want to do is these mini lunch pails. And I really like these because of the little like handles and all. And uh, I think they're, they can hold more than the Altoid tins. And especially for this one, I use this one. It's a pretty decent size. I use this one a lot more than the other ones. So I definitely really want to redecorate or like whatever do something with this one because I put like my mini grimoire in here I put my uh, pocket knife in there my uh what else I put quartz crystal I put two skeleton keys I kind of throw stuff in there depending on like what I am like doing that day like if I'm going to the mall I kind of want to carry something for like prosperity and like make sure I don't spend too much and uh like good luck stuff and then for school I have like a little focus jar with like focus herbs and stuff in there that I put in here and carry this with me to school so I definitely want to decorate this one and this one and some of the ideas I have I want to do some like cool decorating with like a hot glue gun on one of these and I have some I kind of already laid it out but I have some um, sea glass and I definitely want to like kind of make a like mosaic with this well, it's probably going to be on this one because I mapped it out on this one but it can probably work on an Altoid tin of mine and I might do something with some moss I don't know because especially because being a green witch I like things and I also have some let's see if I can find them I also have some really flat stones because being a earth witch or whatnot, where like one of my main elements is earth, I am a rock hoarder. <laughs> I I have so many rocks, it's ridiculous. So I'm probably gonna incorporate that in one of the designs or like styles I wanna do. So it's kind of a brief idea, so Let's get started and start this DIY.
Okay, so here's the final product of the first one the with the mosaic sea glass. It turned out pretty good. The good side is that it's really pretty and I like the colors and it came out really nice. The downside though is the uh, you can see the hot glue underneath the pieces of glass, but overall it looks pretty good and it's nice. It works nice. It still closes with the paint. So there's that one. Um, so basically what I just did was paint the tin all black and then take some hot glue and glue the pieces on and then to finish it off I took some regular school glue over top of it to kind of give it a nice finished look. So there's that one. Here's the finished product of the second one. So I didn't show like me painting this inside because I did this before I decided to do this tin. And uh, so for this one, I really like this one because it has a more earthy feel. So what I did was just glue, hot glue all of this on after I painted the lid black. And basically that was simple. Probably the easiest one I did out of all three of these that I've done. So that's what this one looks like. Let me look closer. It's kind of annoying because it is a little like it sticks out further, but it looks really, really nice. So there's this one. And this was the big outdoor tin. So Dancing through the streets, we wonder, falling for the fire Burning at the heart, throwing hands up to the sky Okay, so here is the final product of the last one. I decided to keep the outside the same because this is the one I carry with me the most and I kind of want to keep it discreet and not like make it obvious that like what on um, what this is. But what I did was paint the inside black and as you can see, I just took a white pencil or white colored pencil and drew stuff on the inside and the same on the lid. And then after I finished this, I put some uh, clear coat spray paint, or if you want, you can do a regular like school glue like I did with this one. So 
these. This is what this one looks like, and I think this one's my favorite out of them, this little outward one. So, this is what this one looks like with the drawings of a moth and the Ouija planchette. So, there you go. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this DIY pocket altar witch tool tin and like some of the ideas I did to inspire you guys to do certain ideas. So, um, just put in the comments which one's your favorite and if you like this video or if, and like leave something if I should have done something different or if you have any other ideas because I do have more tins like I still have this little one which I kind of was gonna do something but then I decided not to do it so um, so yeah leave a comment on what you think of the or what you thought of the video and I uh, hope you like this so thank you